Aaron here, Simon Says Farms, and on this video, I'm gonna teach you how to unload your crossbow dry fire mechanism. Bring it back down. So on my crossbow here, the 10 point Titan SS, it has, by the way, I'm not sponsored in any way by anybody, by my hat, by my shirt, by none of that. Ah, oh, I just lost you guys. There you are. So. Right in here, there's a dry fire mechanism, meaning if I pull the trigger with no bolt, it will not blow up my crossbow because dry firing a crossbow is a bad idea. Now I am not going to demonstrate that. You have a couple ways to unload this. Chickens, if you shut up, that would be very nice. Option one, fire the bow. Put in, put in a bolt, go over to your target, take a shot. that unloads the bow. Option two is the way where I'm gonna show you today where we're gonna use our drawstring to draw it back the opposite direction. So I'm gonna replace the camera in a different angle and show you guys option two on how to re, I think you guys know how to shoot at a target. So how to release this pressure even with the dry fire mechanism. So here we go. Okay, this might just work, this angle. My gimbal just died on me so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up our drawstring back to the bow kind of like you pulled it to to get it all cocked and ready to go we are going to here it is hopefully you can see from that angle but we are gonna take our puller and we're gonna hook it back up back here just like it was when we loaded it this is actually sometimes a little cumbersome, a little difficult to do, but we're gonna hook it up right here. Hopefully you guys can see me there. It is all hooked up right back there, right? It's connected to both sides of my string and the loop is through the back of the bow, kind of like it is when you load it. Just loop the string over the top, hook it to the back there, and we are on, see? We're on, I don't, hopefully you can see me. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna hold pressure on that string, right? Safety's off. We're gonna hold it, pull there. So we fired it. So now it's getting caught on the dry fire. There's a little button here. We undo that and slowly Bring it back down. And now your bow is in the safe storing position. So hopefully that worked. And you saw that right in here. You'll see there's a manual release for the uh, dry fire. So once you pull back the pressure with your drawstring, fire the trigger, which brings it to the dry fire, then you could manually release and slowly bring it back down. So hopefully that helped you learn how to uncock a crossbow with an anti-dry fire mechanism. Please follow below if you're interested in some of this hunting and farming and family content. We thank you for watching Simon Says Farms. Bring it back down.